A counter-electrode, also known as auxiliary electrode, is one of the three electrodes in the three-electrode electrochemical cell used for voltammetric analysis. It's used in reactions where there will be a current flow. The auxiliary electrode is used to connect to the electrolyte so that a current can be applied to the working electrode. To prevent the auxiliary electrode from dissolving in the electrolyte, it must be made of an inert material or noble metal. There are many different types of counter-electrodes, but the two most common are platinum counter-electrodes and graphite counter-electrodes. This is due to the fact that platinum counter-electrodes are resistant to oxidation, solvents, and acids. It's a great material to create counter-electrodes out of because of its inertness and high electrical conductivity, although the cost is a little high. While graphite is relatively inexpensive, but also has excellent electrical conductivity and inertness, making it a great candidate to be used as a counter-electrode. Next will be the difference between two and three electrode systems. For a two-electrode system, the current passes through the working electrode and also reference electrode. Since current flows through the reference electrode, the standard potential of the reference electrode changes and the polarization of the reference electrode takes place. This system can be used to derive a IE curve, but only when the passage of current via RE doesn't change its standard potential value. In this case, the reference electrode itself acts as a counter-electrode. Hence, this system is better to develop electrochemical cells because of its greater efficiency. While for three-electrode system, the current flows between working electrode and auxiliary electrode. Since current does not flow through reference electrode, the standard potential of the reference electrode remains constant and polarization does not take place. This system can be used effectively to derive IE curve. Therefore, this system is better to characterize working electrode. Firstly, the surface area of the counter electrode should be at least 10 times that of the working electrode. The goal is to investigate the half reaction at the working electrode. This means that the half reaction at the counter electrode should be the slowest, as the features of the half reaction at the counter electrode will otherwise define the characteristics of the measured electrical current. This issue can be avoided by using a considerably larger counter electrode surface because the reaction rate is reliant on it. Second is a counter electrode should be made of a suitable electrical conductor. A small amount of current can escape through the interface at the counter electrode if the counter electrode is a poor conductor, deciding the electrochemical cell's recorded current. As a result, rather than the half reaction occurring on the working electrode's surface, the measured current will reveal the characteristics of the counter electrode. Lastly, the location of the counter electrode in relation to the working electrode is also important, as it is one of the conditions for the counter electrode. References. Thank you.